Okay, so let's talk about sun protection, specifically sun masks or face masks. I have tried literally every brand on the market. Started out with buffs. I know those are very popular, but they're basically a tube. And I have a ton of coverage issues and breathability issues with those. I've tried Gills. I've tried a couple of the Amazon brands. And these two that I'm going to talk about and compare are by far the most comfortable and breathable face masks that I've come across. These I'm able to wear eight to 10 hours at a clip, no problem. All right, so the first one is the Sims Sun Gator. And I don't know if you can see this. All right, so this is a neck portion and there's a little flap on either side coming down and here is the face portion and you see there's a little cut going along the top of your nose and it's contoured to go over your hat which is how I wear them and that's a huge difference from just having a tube and you'll see when I show you what it looks like on my head so the biggest problem with Sims is they cut these these breathing holes in the front and they work great but as you can see they wear out um, I have four of these Sims masks and they start wearing after two or three washings okay and I think sooner or later you're just gonna end up with a big hole in the middle of your face however in terms of comfort in terms of the material they use this is by far the most comfortable mask that I've worn. And it has good coverage, it's very light. The breathability is excellent. But again, like I said, you know, these are about $30 a piece. And I'll leave links to everything down below. Uh, sometimes you can find them on sale, but not often. You have to really look for them. I feel like they should do some sort of mesh reinforcement in that area. And I've written emails to them. I've gotten no response, but here's, here's one in red and you'll see, you know, this is starting to go a little bit. This one I think I, I didn't wear as often because it is bright red, but yeah. Other than that, you know, you can wear this all day. And in my opinion, compared to sunscreen, a quality breathable fabric is much superior in hot weather. I really hate sunscreen. I don't like how it feels. I don't like how you have to reapply every hour. And most importantly, when it's really hot, it forms a barrier on your skin. And when you sweat, you don't feel the evaporation. So everything is just trapped in. That's, that's been my experience. Now moving on to the one I discovered last year. This is the Huck, their version of a Sun Gator. And again, they also have a contoured cut, which is tailored to mold your face, to fit your face and neck and head better than the buff tubes or that style of Gator. Now what they did was they put a mesh panel that you see this is that's the material that is made from but then all the way across the face they put this sort of breathable mesh panel now it's not as breathable as the sims but it's good enough even in very hot weather i was out there last summer in 95 degree heat and no issues with my glasses fogging up. You have to sort of adjust how you breathe, especially if it's very hot and humid and there's no wind. Sort of uh, breathe through your mouth a little bit more, but it becomes second nature. And the best thing about the Huck Gator is they're wearing very nicely. I mean, I feel these will last for at least a couple of seasons compared to the Sims Gator. The material seems to be just a little bit thicker, 
but because the mesh panel goes from top to bottom, here I'll show you on this one, you see how it goes all the way down to the bottom? You know, that means you don't have to hunt for that little patch of holes like you do on The Sims. I'll get my costume on and show you what it looks like, but basically, I know a lot of guys who wear buffs and halfway through the day they have it pulled back down below their nose and it rise up from your neck. It kind of chokes you a little bit and you get terrible coverage. You know, it might feel fine for the first hour, but sooner or later you're not wearing it like you're supposed to and you're exposing yourself to all that UV rays during the summer. Whereas if you find something that's very comfortable and breathable, you'll keep it on your head for much longer. For me, it's pretty much all day. The only time I slip it down over my mouth is to drink something or to vape on my e-cigarette. So, very comfortable. I highly recommend the Huck. I also recommend the Sims, especially if you're not gonna wear it as much. If you're only fishing a few times a year, the Sims, very high quality. But if you're gonna use the Sun Gator a lot, you know, the Hulk really stands up to repeated washings, it stays very breathable, and it's just a superior design. As you can see, it's very good coverage all around. It goes up to the bridge of your nose, it doesn't want to ride down, and right here that little flap kind of tucks into your shirt the only part you're exposed to is a little bit over here and you know i usually just get a weird tan line over here but other than that i wear it so that it rides over the top of my cap and it keeps my cap secure and this is also where i mount my gopro like a little hat cam deal. So I can do this all day. My glasses are not fogging up. And um, that's the Sims. And I'll show you the Huck really quickly. All right, and here's the Huck Sun Gator. And very similar. They're cut very similar. You see down here, there's a little flap. This one feels a little bit tighter. But again, it's hard to imagine anyone with a larger head than mine. So... Then, again, this whole panel here is mesh, so you can breathe through it and your glasses don't get fogged up. You can keep this on all day and it works perfectly fine. And yeah, you kind of look like a cartel member, but whatever. Looking a little funny is a small price to pay for not getting skin cancer, right? Uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna show you the gloves real quick and we'll call it a day. All right, so very quickly, I'll go over the gloves that I have. Um, these are the Sims Solar Flex gloves and I've had to modify them a little bit. The first two fingers, they come much longer. It comes all the way up to your fingertip. And I guess that's for fly fishing, for stripping fly line. Um, in my opinion, not all that comfortable so I just cut them down um, to about the same length as the rest of them and yeah I mean they're very comfortable um, they have a cutout palm for grip as opposed to the other gloves that I have which has little silicon dots I actually do not prefer this and I don't know if it's because I can feel the edge of the smooth fabric and my bare palm or I mean it's perfectly fine but let me show you the ones I consider the most comfortable out of all the pairs of gloves that I've owned I think these are the outdoor research sun gloves and that's what they look like this pair I've had for I think five years and it's still holding up. There's a little bit of separation at the seams, but 
I have no complaints getting so many seasons out of it. Now you see the pattern of silicon dots? They did a good job. I never feel like the reel is slipping out of my hand. Another pair that works very well is the Columbia. Columbia makes a pair of sun gloves. I don't have them with me right now, but they're very similar concept except they have smaller silicon dots throughout the whole palm area. And that one works well too. I, I prefer either of those over the Sims. And the Sims I believe is also the most expensive. There's just too much going on here. There's leather patches on the finger, on your wrist. Uh, I guess it's pretty nice that you can clip these together as a pair, but all right, so that's that, and again, my personal opinion, the proper sun gear, including breathable UPF shirts and lightweight pants, sun mask, hat, sunglasses, gloves, that's the way to go. Especially if you're gonna be in a kayak all day and you're kind of sitting in one position. Look, there's nowhere to hide from the sun if you're fishing salt water. Yeah, so hopefully you guys will pick up at least one of these and give it a shot. You know, they're more comfortable than you think. And um, I'm just putting out some of these videos to get everyone ready for the season. So I hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching.